This is the installation of a span panel. It's the first one I've ever done. If you missed part one, click here. But with power off to the entire house, there's no time to joke around. I need to get this thing out, span in, and commission so I can bring it back up. I've got all the terminals loosened. Now it's time to pull my conductors out. Everything's de-energized. Double and triple check. Okay, so I spent a good portion of my formative years in Casablanca, Morocco, and the electricians there would literally go, that was their tester. Lick your fingers, your tough, gnarly fingers, and tap it. That, legit, no exaggeration. That's not like the, when all else failed method, that was the approved standard method. <laughs> all right, I need to not lose my labels. <clears throat> it's just a matter of taking these, everything apart efficiently, without damage, without losing any of the vital information. I don't think there are any surprises here that I'm not anticipating. The only red conductor and white conductor that's terminated to a breaker are for the dryer and the air conditioner. And I'm gonna get that white remarked as a hot when it's installed. One of our team principles at Jefferson Electric is give credit and take responsibility. And let me illuminate a, a story, share a story that helps illuminate that principle. This, uh, ooh. Actually taking things apart. This airliner is flying across the Indian Ocean and suddenly an engine blows up on the right wing and then an engine blows up on the left wing and the pilot walks out of the cockpit and sits down in the front row and is chilling with the passengers and they're in freak out mode. They're like, what are you doing? Get back in there and fly this thing. And he's like, no, I'm sorry. I think you misunderstood the, the, uh, the situation. See, the, the engines, those are um, not part of my job. That's an actually a, a ground crew issue. It's their fault. Um, and I'm just a pilot. And the passengers rightly said, we don't care whose fault it is. Just get back in that cockpit and take responsibility. Bring us down safe, safely. And so, give credit, take responsibility. See, the person who takes responsibility will always be the most highly respected person in the room. It doesn't mean they're accepting fault or blame, but it does mean that they're providing a solution and the desired outcome. So give credit, take responsibility, and don't ever Whatever you do, don't you ever, ever get that backwards. That's what we call reverse polarity. This is where you really want to be wearing your safety glasses. All these copper wires hanging around everywhere in this low light situation. Man, you catch the edge of one of those things across the eyeball. Woo! That's an ER trip for sure. Of course, I've already loosened those. They would not pop out like that otherwise. Get those straightened up. Wear gloves, those little copper wires will catch your hands too. Your wire can quite easily get stripped by those sharp inside metal edges. You can put long gashes and nicks in your conductor installation, so uh, you gotta be careful. And slide that label down to the end and bend the stripped end hard over it, and that's gonna secure it in place. Keep me from losing my all important labels. So time consuming to trace them back out. Now I'd have to lose a few before confusion set in, but I think I'm just gonna prevent that confusion. Hey, if you're a master electrician watching this, this is all I can say about it. But I want you to stay tuned for a later date when we reveal an opportunity for you to work more convenient hours than you've ever had before, doing something with your license that you've never dreamed of doing before, making more money than you've ever dreamed of making before, but I can't tell you anything else. 
You just have to wait until it's ready. So stay tuned. Guys, word choice is really important. It's very important. When you're talking to homeowners, you can't be like, oh yeah, we threw that together. And that's not what somebody wants to hear about their electricity. Threw it together, um, knocked it out, stuff like that. It's too, it's too imprecise. And for some nervous people that aren't just like Rastafarians, they're gonna they're going to feel like they need to go check on what you just did, right? So use precision in language and to your advantage. Give people confidence. Let them know that um, we, you know, just say exactly what you mean. We took care. We gave you our very best. We're happy with the outcomes. We hope you are too. Boom. Just say it like it is, right? If you're in service, particularly residential when it's people's primary dwellings. Why are interest rates so low on houses in comparison to anything else? Because it's your home, right? It's where you house your family. It's where you lay your head. People are more concerned about their homes than anything else. And banks know that, which is why you can get like a 2.7% interest rate on your home. So you gotta, you gotta recognize that, right? You gotta, we threw it together, we knocked it out. You can't do that stuff. I'm gonna reuse these breakers because they're only six months old. And Span is compatible with Eaton, Square D, and Siemens. Plug in breakers. This old electrical panel costs about 120 bucks. A bit more now with inflation. New span panel, about 50 times that. All right, the last screw is out. Saving this for the homeowner. In case he moves, he's gonna wanna put this back in and take the span with him. All right, found a two by six here. We're gonna chop it into two lengths of 14 and 5 16 which is just perfect because that span dimension is 14 and a quarter width. So let's chop this up. I'm pretty good at denailing boards because the first Jefferson Electric shop I built was literally out of salvaged trash off of job sites. I was an apprentice electrician and I was salvaging out of dumpsters at the end of every day. Throwing them in my Ford Ranger. Sonic Blue, I love that truck. And I'd haul them back and then I, or I would hire homeless people, would be out there denailing these <laughs> wicked twisted boards. Uh, plywood, all, this thing was so hodgepodge together, it was ridiculous. But by the time you got the new roof and the siding on, I, I paid for the siding and the roofing material. It was okay. It flooded every time it rained, but that wasn't the lumber's fault. Whoopsie poopsie. You wanna get in there, Cliff, and put that on there? I'm struggling to hold it all. Yeah, drive that baby. Yeah, that's the point. And cheat forward a little bit so it doesn't go out the back. Oh, you're doing better than I was. Lots better. It's in there. Now that you've seen all of this coming out, I'm sorry to leave you hanging, but you gotta click on our next video here and subscribe to Electric Pro Academy for real skills to make real money. And I'll show you how this span goes in. Pretty excited.